Uh, final news story of the week. Interesting uh, thing that's emerged from Microsoft. There's going to be a GDC talk about it, but um, Direct SR, Direct Super Resolution, seems to be what we've been asking for for a long time, Alex, which is kind of like codifying super resolution into an API um, within um, uh, DirectX. Uh, which should, in theory, hopefully bring about much wider support for a wide range of upscalers, unless I've got that wrong. That sounds exactly like what it is based on the description. Initial reporting was like because of historical precedent saying Microsoft's going to bring about its own upscaler into the upscaling. Yeah, didn't, didn't we see some race. leaks in an upcoming Windows build? Which seemed to- yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, so the the leaks in the upcoming Windows build, the fact that they weren't very, uh, it wasn't descriptive enough exactly, but it was, and I th- I think that's reasonable that people thought that. Uh, uh, but it makes a lot more sense when it is what it is described as in the preview text for the GDC presentation on the Microsoft blog, uh, the DirectX blog specifically describing it as system level control essentially it sounds yeah. like for the user to implement what version of super resolution they want based upon i guess their gpu uh, or their driver mm-hmm. um and this makes a lot of sense for one technically nvidia created streamline which is what this is kind of about from the developer facing perspective where all these inputs streamline says okay you plug in your dll uh, uh, for whatever upscaler it is, and then it's going to make it so that you don't, as a developer, you don't have to necessarily implement FSR2 by its lonesome or XCSS by its lonesome, rather a generic framework that then works with a bunch of upscalers, mm-hmm. and then you just have to expose it in the UI of your game. Uh, that uh, is a great idea. The problem was immediately uh, AMD didn't want to support it, and uh, I think, Intel I think did, there though. was also trouble. What? I think Intel did want to support it, if memory says. Intel did want to support mm. it. And we did see, actually, streamlined releases. Okay. You, you can go to the files and see that um, of a game. You'll see .sl, I think, uh, often in the files. And a lot of games that had XCSS and DLSS did use streamline. I'm pretty sure it's actually used in the Nixies games, okay. uh, for example. So it did see some usage. And it, I think it was a great idea. But I think Microsoft taking control of this is better in general, just because if it becomes part of Windows... Uh, then I hope it sees a lot more support. Um, and if a developer is just, you know, you're already doing these DirectX calls and DirectX things anyways, you're already presenting via the compositing engine in Windows. Why not give it other inputs before that even happens and then let the driver do it itself? And I, I think it's a great idea. I'm at the moment, I'm only curious about two things. One is whether or not um, people who have something like a, a, an old GTX 1060, whether or not they can run XCSS is a question. I mean, I don't know if they want to, but could they under this new scheme? I have no idea. We'll have to see it's how it's presented and how like users get access to which version of does, super uh, resolution they want to use. Does Pascal support DP4A? Maybe it doesn't. So they would use the crappy version of XCSS anyways. So let's just say... A, I get the idea uh, of what you're our, saying, which is that you, the, the yeah. automatic choice in theory for a, an older GPU would be um, FSR2, right? Uh, but, yeah, yeah. but so, you know, yeah. you, we're seeing stuff that's happening now with the DP4A path on XCSS where it's qualitatively better than FSR2, and you may prefer that instead. Yes, precisely. I just want to see how much user choice there is and which version of super resolution they have, uh, regardless of hardware. Um, and, uh, another thing that I have that I'm a little curious about is does it support frame generation as a toggle? Right. Is that a different thing altogether? Mm. Uh, Microsoft can be a little bit behind the times, <laughs> uh, regarding like how things are quickly advancing. I do think DirectX has slowed down in its development, uh, in comparison. I just thought about the other day, like the jump from DX7 to DX9 is just like a couple years and they're like so radically different. Uh, and then you had like DX11 for a decade. So yeah, um, I, I just, I just want to see if there's frame generation support. I also want to see if they iterate it over time to have more inputs than just, uh, color and motion vectors, uh, because things like ray reconstruction or other interesting things, like even more in depth versions of frame generation could take in 
to account like what like material IDs and all these other things. Like I, I feel like it shouldn't just be limited to like standard things like color and motion vectors. It could it should allow the developer to input anything they want. And depending upon what the driver is doing, like the NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel driver, then they could leverage it even more. And a develop that means developers could get things like frame generation or ray reconstruction in their game without actually doing a lot, as much work as a full integration. So I, I, I'm just hoping it is a little bit more forward looking than just wholly about codifying the scheme. I also want it to be like thinking about the future. Uh, because it would it'd be a shame to see things like frame generation. So like we finally get super resolution in all these games, but then once again, uh, there's just like this really arbitrary developer led choice of whether or not a game has frame generation, this frame generation, that frame generation, etc. I, I don't want to have to be constantly making videos about saying like, oh, this doesn't have FSR three or oh, this doesn't have DLSS three, even though it has the competitor's choice. Um, so yeah, Avatar, please, Avatar was Microsoft. a bit weird, wasn't it? Because you had DLSS two spatial yeah. upscaling, but you didn't have DLSS three. Uh, frame generation, but you did have AMD uh, FSR. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that was that was a that was a sad one because like oh, they they did so, like everything right except for like that. <laughs> <laughs> everything about that game is great. They just re- they they released a patch. Uh, I want to. I'm not. Maybe I'll talk about it on the next DF Direct, but it releases the day of recording here. But I want to kind of talk about it just to like, talk about nice things that patches can do. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Any thoughts on this, John? I mean, uh, how really... does this affect how does this affect me as a Radeon Seven fan? <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you would be uh, getting FSR two all day long. 